we've been trained to expect the unexpected from Guillermo del Toro. The Mexican author has infused his unique vision and intelligence into movies about bizarre comic book antiheroes, Hellboy, IN2, Giant Battle Robots, Pacific Rim, and Gothic Horror, Crimson Peak, while investing the most of his singular design genius and psychological insight into smaller, more personal and historically informed pieces such as Kronos, The Devil's Backbone and Pan's Labyrinth. Now Del Toro has taken all of his creative passion to the wall with The Shape of Water. A fable like no other, it's a Cold War era tale of a mute janitor named Elisa Esposito, English actress Sally Hawkins, who falls in love with a recently discovered half-fish, half-man thing, Del Toro's go-to creature player Doug Jones in the scaly suit, being held at the secret government facility she cleans. With the help of her neighbor Giles, Richard Jenkins, work partner Zelda, Octavia Spencer, and Soviet mole Hofstetler, Michael Stolberg, Elisa plots the manimal's escape from the unforgiving control of government agent Strickland, Michael Shannon and then discovers that she wouldn't want to live without the creature. Dizzyingly romantic and dazzlingly gorgeous, the movie, which picked up three awards, including for Del Toro's direction and Hawkins' performance, at the L.A. Film Critics Association Awards, addresses eternal American issues while staging sequence after sequence that only Del Toro could have imagined. We talked to the filmmaker about what looks like the ultimate expression of his lifelong monster love. Q, The Shape of Water seems like a culmination of all the themes, loves and obsessions from a quarter century of your work. GDT, I feel it's a strange synthesis and reformulation, because it's the first Beatlist movie that I've made. All the other movies have a sense of loss and melancholy, with the exception of the big ones like Pacific Rim and Hellboy, you know. But this is the first of the smaller, more personal, stranger movies that I'm talking about leaving the theater not with a sense of crushing beauty, but with hopeful beauty. By the way, the other part of that answer is that it requires 25 years as a filmmaker to pull this off. The ever-shifting genres in the movie, the tonal difficulty of a piece like this, there are 50 reasons why it shouldn't work. I'm pretty sure that if you get 49 right, it still doesn't work you need to get all 50. It's a triple somersault with a very difficult landing. Q, the genesis was your affection for the 1954 monster movie Creature from the Black Lagoon, right? GDT, since age 6, yeah. You know, everybody has a moment in their life, they see a movie or an image at which they understand adult love. It's a mystery when you're a kid, but you understand it in an instinctive way. For me, that moment was when Julie Adams and the creature are swimming in the river. I thought it was an extraordinarily beautiful image. It made me really ache for them to end together, and they didn't end together. I don't think Shape of Water is that idea anymore.